How are we doing today? Oh, come on. You're living in the best country on the planet. How are we doing today? Thank you, Blue Angels Foundation leadership and members for allowing me to play a small role on this great day. It's an honor to be here. My friends, I stand before you today to recite a poem. It is a personification of the United States flag. But before I do that, I want to take a second to try and connect with you in a special way by simply telling you what I've been up to lately. Uh, my friends, I'm on a mission to heal America, and there's two lines of effort that I'm going to do and are, are doing now. And that is number one, honoring those that have served, which is what we're doing today. And number two, teaching our children the value of freedom. So I'm going from pillar to post, coast to coast, talking in schools from pre-K through high school and college. I'll speak at Florida State University for Veterans Day. And the poem that you're going to hear, that poem has been rendered to pre-K, elementary, junior high, high schools already. So the poem you're about to hear, just imagine public schools hearing that poem. Now, for pre-K, of course, I tone it down a little bit, you know. But, uh, but the point is, the kids are hearing this poem that you're about to hear. And I'm telling all the kids, the high schoolers especially, letting them know that they can be anything they want to be in life if they put their minds to it. And telling them that this is not something I read in a book. I'm telling you from personal experience. I tell the kids, I say, hey, look at me, look at me. You are looking at the son of a sharecropper. My mother picked cotton in the fields of Alabama for 12 years. She had to drop out of school at 12, uh, uh, seventh grade. So not my grandmother, I'm a great grandmother, my mom. And my mom's son is living his dreams only in America. Only in America. So... I am thankful for organizations like the Blue Angels Foundation for giving me an opportunity. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here and be able to do the things that I'm telling you now. So I hope that that resonated with you some. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, without any further delay, let us begin. <laughs> 